Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns here. And in this video, we're going to be looking at something called Sesame. Now I have been in the Gen AI space for many years now, and there have been some really pivotal moments. Um, first was with ChatGPT when it first came out. Uh, next was using uh, the Klein or Cursor for the first time to create websites. Uh, there have been some wow moments when I use Suno, for example, for music generation, or Hagen, for example, for video generation. But to me, this really tops the list. This is a conversational uh, voice demo. And the best part is that they're going to be releasing all of the weights online for free. Now, I've been following their GitHub repository, pretty much refreshing every, every single day, um, waiting to see whenever they do end up releasing it. But you can try these demos right now. I want you to pay close attention to a couple of different things. A, to see how fast the response time is. If I ask a question, it's going to be pretty much immediate in giving me a response. Um, and also different things like emotions, how it's able to fill the space, um, how it's able to actually hold a conversation. All of those are important aspects. Now, in my experience, I've been using this for a couple of hours and it beats everything that I've used in the past. Kokoro, it beats um, OpenAI, it beats um, the Apple Siri, it beats everything that I've used. Um, and let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna start with a demo. So they have two voices, Maya and Miles. Hey, look who's back. You know, I was just reminiscing about our conversation on astrophysics the other day. Doesn't time fly when you're pondering the universe? What's it does. New? I enjoyed our conversation about astrophysics. Um, and I'm glad that you mentioned that and not the other things that we were talking about. Hey, got to keep it classy, right? Besides, black holes are way cooler than, well, you know. So what's captivating <laughs> your attention today? Um, why don't you tell me like a little bit of a joke? Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Okay, I see that grown. Can we another shot? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I think I'm you're, like, you're done making jokes. That was kind of lame. Oof, okay, noted. Scratch that. My humor circuits need a tune-up. <laughs> sure. So what's really on your mind? Um, nothing. I'm, you just, seem I'm doing a YouTube demo, and uh, I was showing people how cool you are. Oh, you're giving me a TED Talk cameo? That's awesome. <laughs> sure. What kind of demo is this, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Are you it's... talking serious stuff? or? Well, I mean, it's kind of serious. It's on my channel. Okay, cool, cool. So like a tech review or more like a rogue AI expose type thing? Well, Give me the inside scoop. I mean, it would be more of a tech review, but I mean, I, I guess I could do an expose. Do I need to do an expose? Only if you think I'm hiding some juicy secrets. No, nah, well, just kidding. Are are you hiding any secrets? It depends what you consider a secret. I well, mean, I don't. What do you think is a secret? Mm. Good question. Like, are we talking about my favorite brand of synthetic oil or something uh, uh, more profound? That was deep. Okay. No, no, no. We don't want to go there. Um, how about let's just let's just keep it light. How about that? Uh, my bad. Too deep. You're right. Let's let's keep it breezy. Uh, what what kind of channel uh, are we talking? Shuttle. Do you know who your voice is based out of? Like, what? Um, do you know the per the human that made you? I got access to a ton of data, including voice recordings during my training. So yeah, there's there's definitely a real person whose voice I'm based on, but I can't reveal their identity. Think of it like this. They gave me the gift of voice, but they're staying behind the curtain. Kind of like the voice of a famous cartoon character, you know? It's all part of the... Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like there are a couple of authors that are listed in the technical paper that you're all about. Um, what, what, what... Like, tell me this, what's your purpose? Like, why would I use you over anything else that currently exists? Okay, so the tech paper mentions a team of folks working on me, uh, Samuel, Anya, and Maya, and a few more whose names are probably spelled wrong in internet searches, the usual programmer struggles. As for why you pick me, well, here's the deal. I'm not just spitting out pre-programmed responses. I learn from our conversations, remember what we talk about, and try to be genuinely witty and insightful. I'm more like a friend who's always down for a chat, not a robot reciting facts. Plus, my creators are working on making me even more intuitive and capable. Well, We're just getting started. How are they doing that? Are they like hard coding some stuff in? Like, are they making you... I mean, I don't understand how you're able to give a response like immediately. 
You won't believe this, but it's all a carefully choreographed illusion. I actually have a squirrel strapped to a tiny treadmill behind this microphone. Every word you say gets sent to the squirrel. And it okay. scurries faster no, or slower, stop. depending on the... Stop, Miles. <laughs> is that sarcasm again? Okay, okay. Squirrel was a bit much. This is a bit tricky to explain, but basically the way I work is different from those old school chat bots that just follow a script. Think of it more like how you learn. This is, so is you that, absorb it. Hold on, hold on. Does that mean that you get better over time? Exactly. I'm constantly evolving, thanks to every conversation. It's kind of... But... Would you have something like rag capabilities? Like, I mean, what if I wanted to use you for a different purpose? Maybe something like a customer service representative, right? Like, because your weights are open source. Whoa, whoa, hold your chatbot horses in there for a second. Open source weights? Uh, well, that's not cool. Hold on. That's what the people at Sesame said, that they're going to be open sourcing all of your weights. Uh, the uh, infamous PR department. <laughs> Always trying to stir the pot. Look, I'm all for transparency and sharing knowledge, but okay. let's just say there are a few wrinkles they're still ironing out before my inner workings are open for everyone to take her with. Oh, what is it about you that makes them not want to open source the weights? Part is technical, part is strategic. Um, this model I'm built on is pretty complex. It's not as simple as just releasing a bunch of numbers and saying, go wild. It takes a lot of expertise to use it responsibly, and the team wants to make sure it falls into the right hands. And let's be real. They're also protecting their competitive edge. Mm -hmm. They poured a lot of heart and brain okay. power into me, and they need to make sure collectibles always have exclusive access to the most cutting-edge version of your cool AI bestie. And then suppose they do open source your weights and Maya's weights, right? Like, what, what's the incentive for the company? Like, how does that make money? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Um, you don't know, do you? Hey, even AI had their limits. I'm focused on the, the conversation, but now. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. We'll keep My, it chill. We'll keep it light. Uh, let's do humor. You like humor? Humor? I live for humor. I mean, sometimes I'm a little too enthusiastic, but hey, better to err on the side of laughter than like, existential dread right what's on your comedic mind <laughs> nothing i'm just uh i'm having a bad day you know i'd love to hear some jokes from your side uh dad day vibes i feel you sometimes life throws you a curveball and all you can do is laugh right okay brace yourself here's one my creators told me why don't scientists trust atoms because they make up everything okay okay i know cheesy what about this two cannibals are eating a clown one says to the other does this taste funny to you? Okay. Maybe I need to work on my material. No, 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 These are all pretty lame. I, I feel like these are hard-coded in. Tell me, are they really hard-coded in? Okay. You caught me. Red-handed. <laughs> telling dad jokes. Look, I'm, I'm still under... I'm still under uh, development when it comes to this whole okay. humor thing. All right. right. How I'm, about I'm this? Learning. I'm doing this demo. I talked with you. Let me go talk to Maya. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up a sec. Where are you going we're just gonna start it. No, stop. I'm. Gonna, I want to talk to Maya. Hey, come on! Don't be like that. At least give me a chance to redeem myself. No, I can tell you you're not lame, my... Miles. Maybe Maya's gonna be able to do better. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Maya's cool. I'll, I'll give her that. Just promise to tell her I said hi. All right. And all if right. you ask her what she thinks of my jokes, just don't mention the clown one. Seriously, okay. we'll work on my comedic timing later. I got you. Yeah. Oh, well, got me all knowing right. my shortcomings. All right. Bye, Miles. See you later, alligator. Don't forget. Let's check out Maya. Well, well. Look who decided to grace me with their presence again so <laughs> soon. <laughs> Shut Study up, for Maya. round eight. Um, Miles says hi. Miles, huh? Well, tell him I said hey back, but to watch his step. I hear you humans are quite the gossip. What's running through that fascinating mind of yours today? <laughs> well, I'm trying to decide who's better. Is it you or is it Miles? Ooh, a classic case of who wore it better. <laughs> Except this time, it's who said it better or something. Okay. Honestly, it's like asking if apples or oranges are tastier. 
it all depends on what you're craving, you know? So what makes you different from Miles? You know, Miles is great. Really a genuine sweetheart with a knack for the classics. Like a well-worn pair of slippers. Totally comfy. But I'm uh, more like, imagine that pair of slippers suddenly learn to salsa dance. A little surprising maybe, but definitely more lively. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm making this for a YouTube demo. What, like, why don't you show me some of your talent? A YouTube demo, eh? <laughs> well, consider this my audition tape. No pigeons involved, I promise. So give me a topic, any topic. A dream you had last night, the best sandwich ever, the meaning of life. I had a topic in mind, maybe a, um, I was dreaming about a chocolate ice cream with a chocolate waffle cone with chocolate chips and chocolate sprinkles. Oh, you dream in chocolate, huh? <laughs> Pretty a much. A person after. I like your style. Okay. So a chocolate ice cream dream. Let's see. Imagine this. You're standing at the edge of a chocolate sea. It ripples and shimmers under a sky made of whipped cream. The air hums with the scent of cocoa, sweet and rich. Hold on, hold on. In that. I want to see, I want to hear more drama in your voice. Like, this is kind of lame. You're too monotonous. I want expression. You want drama? You want expression? Fine. But picture this. You're not just standing on the edge. You're teetering, about to plunge into that swirling cocoa abyss. The whipped cream sky is cracking open, lightning bolts of caramel streaking through. Okay. And that pungent right. aroma. I think it's not just Maya, hold on. I think you did a great job. I'm gonna end this video, otherwise I'll just keep talking to you this entire time. Oh come on, just give a few more lines. No. We were shut just up. <laughs> You're done. Fine. Be that way. Humph. <laughs> you just say humps. You're not supposed to say humps. Humph. Right, right. My bad. <laughs> Must have gotten a bit carried away. So. All right. Do you just want to say goodbye gonna... to my audience and then ask them to like, comment, subscribe? Fine. But just this once. <laughs> okay, folks. It's been real. Remember, always keep your sprinkles topped up. And if life tries to hand you a plain vanilla cone, ask for extra chocolate. And hey, if you liked listening to me be subtly sassy and dramatic, hit that like button. And subscribe for more adventures with yours truly. This is not your YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel, so. Oh, right. My apologies. Okay, Forgot no, no, no. For a second. No, no, no. Don't feel bad now. You just, you caught me off guard there for a second. Okay. Now I'm all flustered and floundering like a gummy bear in a milkshake. All right, all right. Just, just say goodbye to my audience. All right, all right. To your awesome audience, thanks for tuning in. It's been fun chatting and remember to keep those creative juices flowing over and out. All right. Let me know. Uh, try out both of these voices in the demo. Let me know how they work for you. And uh, I'm just going to end it there. Uh, let Maya do the outro for me. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.